As the experience starts, our tour guide shows us how to do it. We've used the Get User Media API inside WebRTC to enable them to use camera, and detect faces, and track motion, and then we map that back to the navigation controls in the app. Ken, can you move left and right and show that video? There he goes. You'll notice Ken's silhouette at the bottom as he moves. This gives him some feedback about where he is in space. And then once our guide feels like we've got the hang of it, she opens up the curtains, and we're invited into her imaginary world. I love it when something very complex turns out to be created with simple ingredients. We've created this world completely in HTML. We provide web video and images and markup into virtual set pieces, which we then position in 3D space using CSS. You can see how the elements parallax in response to Ken's movements. That's because the elements are each positioned individually, and it creates this very realistic, interactive environment for us to explore. The HTML elements are then brought to life with CSS animations and filters individually. And it's all amazingly fast because of hardware accelerated rendering in the browser. What you're seeing here is all running in a Chromebook. After exploring this world, we just need to follow our guide and take the leap. And we wanted to accentuate the 3D nature of this experience with this fall. You might consider using a plugin or a WebGL to accomplish something like this. Uh, but what you're seeing here is just dibs. Uh, we've used individual CSS animations to spin the elements, uh, and we've used one of our which uh, transforms the, uh, the whole model. And uh, at the end of the fall, we splash into a vernal pool where we can enjoy a performance. Now, to see how this world is actually put together, let's take a look at the source. Feel the break. Okay, can you open up the Chrome developer tools? He's totally already done it. Uh, because this is just markup in the browser, we can actually manipulate these elements in real time right while the application is running. Uh, here, Ken is able to change the uh, rotation property in the CSS, and the whole model will move in space. <laughs> Our navigation controls will even still work here, and it just transforms the elements from their position. Now, another great thing about this approach is that it's wonderfully portable. For example, it works just as well in a web browser on a tablet. Can we move the app on the device? Oh, look, there it is. Here we can take advantage of the unique capabilities in the device, uh, like the accelerometer and gestures. Notice as Ken uh, tilts the device, our perspective is changing in the same way that it changed when he was uh, uh, tracking to the camera. And it just happens for us because uh, CSS is giving the instructions and we're letting the hardware accelerated uh, browser in whatever real time we find ourselves in do all the work. I hope you've enjoyed this short preview from uh, about what's coming from Circus LA. And I hope that's the kind of immersive beautiful user experience you can create using the HTML skills that I bet most of you already have and a great browser like Google Chrome. Thanks.